uh, for the wonderful introduction. So good morning, everyone. Uh, we are Prabhu and Joyce. So we have uh, logged in from Bangalore. So good to see you all on a beautiful uh, you know, Sunday morning. Uh, so I uh, work in the IT industry. I've been in the IT industry for quite some time. And uh, Joyce is a mom pro now. And uh, we are so excited uh, today you know, to be here, you know, uh, see all of you. A um, couple of reasons why we are here, first of all. Uh, one is, you know, thanks to this community, thanks to our coaches who actually help us, you know, uh, have our transformation. So a couple of years back, you know, Joyce and I both together lost about 26 kilos. And, um, you know, along with that, you know, of course, there are a lot of other transformations, you know, within our family. And um, uh, that actually, you know, gave us a passion, you know, uh, more, uh, uh, you know, um, curiosity to learn more about wellness and add more value to people. And, um, you know, through this uh, community, you know, we have been able to help uh, a lot of people, you know, overcome, you know, whatever the health challenges that they have. And today, you know, we are so proud and, um, you know, so excited to bring, you know, one of our wellness champions uh, from Hyderabad. So uh, I would request uh, my host to bring up uh, Sonali, you know, uh, on the screen, please. Hey, Sonali. Good morning. Glad to have you here today. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Joyce and Prabhu. Good morning, everyone at the community. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, it's it's a splendid moment, which I'm living right away. Wonderful. So, Sonali, uh, can you please uh, you know, uh, give your quick introduction about yourself, where you're from, what you do, and you know, a couple of things? Okay, I, I'm based in Hyderabad. I'm a 46-year-old mother of two bright boys. One is 21 years old, who just passed out of bits. Younger one is in sweet 16, going to write his boards. And yeah, my third child is my husband. And he is into software. But he is the strength under my wings, you know. Uh, he, he helps me. Uh, I started my career as a teacher. But I've done many hacks. And he is the one who holds the financial ground and let 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 me be, you know, and explore whichever occupation or whichever field I like to be in. Wonderful. Wonderful, Sonali. So uh, tell us something, you know, uh, what made you to contact us, right, sometime back, right? Yes, uh, uh, it was, you know, I just walked out of depression in the year 2019. So I thought I should get financially independent. But I was wary of connecting with people. Till date, I am overcoming that. And now I do it with my community support and with your support. So, you know, it, nothing has been easy. Uh, but, you know, depression has its side effects. So, yeah, two years of depression, wherein I was completely inside my house, not doing anything. I had developed aversion to cooking, not meeting people. The very thought of connecting with people was burdening for me and i i was i'd slipped into a comfortable zone wherein you know food and everything was managed by my husband and thanks to the swiggy and everything was coming from outside and i was totally fatigued i would feel like a 60 year old person in a 40 year old body and i would tell my kids you know i would prepare them and you know, I would tell them, you know, even if I die, you will get your food and everything. But if something happens to your dad, I don't know. There's no one for us. Obviously, because depression, there was a complete disconnect. Not a single soul around me, except for these three men in my life, three musketeers, uh, who, who just held me together. And uh, yeah, physically, though, it was massive. Uh, I had developed curled toes. I couldn't even walk 10 steps. I would go off balance. Uh, I had rock, uh, rocky calves, you know, uh, spasms, sprains or cramps in sleep was common. Uh, I couldn't even roll a roti. I couldn't lift a one liter water bottle. And uh, it was, you know, bending and all was very far-fetched. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I've been a very aware person. I cook at home. So I, I would struggle to make, uh, you know, pack the food for my children. And I would like pass out in an hour or two and I would sleep and drool in a delirious state uh, to give it a funny connotation like you know Harry Potter's that three-headed dog the way he drools so and my husband would wonder was I even conscious or not so yeah the, and then suddenly one fine day I lost all the hair from my thighs 
and I couldn't make out what was happening. Uh, it was COVID times. So I saw my gynec, I saw my cardiologist. So they were just shuttling me from here to there because they thought my gynecological issue was giving me a cardiac problem. And uh, I was put on hormone therapy. I have undergone three ultrasounds. It was in the fourth ultrasound. Uh, it was detected that I had an ulcer on the mouth, which was oozing pus. And despite the physical examination by a very reputed gynecologist, I resigned myself that now we are all about God. अगर अच्छा टेक्नीशियन मिलेगा अल्ट्रासाउंड वाला वो भी तो डॉक्टर्स होते हैं तो नथिंग अगेंस्ट देम बट इट वाज कोविड टाइम्स सो आई थॉट कि इफ द यू नो द डॉक्टर हैड टू सेंड मी इट वाज नॉट रिफ्लेक्टिंग इन योर रिपोर्ट एंड द अल्ट्रासाउंड टेक्नीशियन डॉक्टर टोल्ड मी कि ओ बट शी हैज डन अ फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन तो मैं समझ गई आई लॉस्ट फेथ आई लॉस्ट होप इन द सिस्टम आई वाज रेंडर्ड यू नो माय right side of the body was compromised i couldn't walk i i struggled i got into a job uh, just to manage all these things thinking that you know financial independence will give me whatever i have to do then happened this then i started for walking i couldn't even walk 50 steps you know as if there was some rock uh, in my tummy it was pulling me down i was 200% sure that there was some malignant tumor which had compressed some nerves you know in my lower body and that was it that was the state i was in i was facing and i didn't know how to go about it thankfully the pathologist uh, told me amma itne kyu hormone ke test kara rahe ho tum you know that's hyderabadi lingo so he said agar menopause hai to hormones to kam hi hone hai na tum diabetes ka test Karao. So forget the cardiac cardiologist, forget the gynecologist. My pathologist told it was diabetes. He asked me to collect the reports, and it was diabetes. And he told me come back, and now go and see your doctors. They will prescribe you some medicines, but you are not going to take it. You will consult me, and I will guide you on this path. Uh, and I did that because my faith was established in him because he identified what it was, and uh, he told me you know very simply you know. Uh, he didn't use the word diabetes. He said this is a metabolic disorder. I was prescribed a five hundred mg diabetic pill. I was put on two BP pills, and my BP was whopping one sixty one ten. So my pathologist said, "Ah, uh, तुमको कभी भी heart attack आ सकता है. ये तो गोली तुमको खानी पड़ेगी. But for your sugar, I will tell you some dietary changes. You follow that, and I'll teach you how to understand the signals from your body." and i have a sugar monitor you don't have to come and take the tests here and you would believe i was 93 then within a month following his advice i came down to 81 and i thought oh ho gaya i am out of it now and i wanted to go and thank him and he died you know he called me the next morning uh, and in the obituary i saw his photo i could thank him i couldn't meet him and he was a god sent person after Uh, my weight was never in my control ek roti bhi khai to 82 83 85 86 87 and another fortnight i reached 87 but now my challenges were different i was on a bp medication i could not get back to doing my yoga and i would feel ki mujhe heart attack aa raha hai i have passed out twice with heavy sweating shortness of breath and uh, with uh, you know pain in my shoulder left shoulder left back and uh, ecg karao to kuch bhi nahi tha and uh, uh, that was the intensity of the attacks despite being on bp medication my movements were restricted i completely lost the sense of balance now i couldn't bend forward i couldn't bend back there was a reeling sensation i couldn't sit in vajrasana i couldn't do leg raises and i felt crippled i felt disabled and i was sure i was dying and that is what my body was telling me so and no person to connect no person to share my issues with no faith on the system which didn't diagnose it correctly maybe the system was overburdened during covid times but yes psychologically and physically i was a mess i was yeah, i mean um, so Uh, unfortunate here you have faced so many challenges uh, sonali i am sure you know you would have uh, um, uh, you know gain strength for your own family in terms of you know pass through that phase right 
So first time when you actually contacted us, because I'm sure, you know, going through so many challenges, I'm sure you would have done so many other researchers or, you know, uh, some kind of therapy to overcome this condition. So when you actually contacted us the first time, what was running in your mind? Was Did you have that confidence saying that, okay, this is something where it will provide you a solution? Or was it a kind of, uh, again, a very uh, doubtful step that you, you were about to take or whatever? Could you just share on that, uh, Sonali? Yeah, I have done a lot of research. I had enrolled to Rujuta Devika's program, five months on the waiting list. I had researched Luke Coutinho's program, follow any fat diets. Uh, thankfully, my pathologist had recommended dietary changes and they were not working for me now. And uh, uh, the only thing, you know, uh, that time, uh, WQ was running a quiz on Facebook. And bang on, my answers were all correct. And I wondered, yaar, mere ko itna pata hai, why am I not able to change my physical condition? And uh, the best part was, you know, instinctively, I just filled the form there. And uh, Prabhu, you connected with me. And uh, uh, yes, uh, there was a hesitation uh, in the sense that, uh, no, 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 please, please understand me. I don't mean to disrespect you here. So Prabhu connected with me. Life happened. It took me a year to join on the program. There was a renovation. There were some family issues. In the renovation, I, I, it hit me big time. I was like, renovate my house? My body renovate karne ka time aa gaya. Main kis mein hu, you know? All the fancy outside and hollow inside. So that was running on my mind. There were some family issues. And uh, December 22, I logged in with you. And then Prabhu just sent me some workshops. And, uh, you know, it uh, wasn't open to me. And uh, yeah, I thought, is Prabhu connected but I social media, se gai hu, kaha aake so, you know, as a troubleshooting, uh, there was a send a mail here and contact this. I sent a mail. I got a mail from Ankur saying that, oh, test one, whatever, so and so is your password. Try logging in. I couldn't do it despite that. I called back Prabhu again with a sense of assurance. Ki, oh, there is a system. It is not Prabhu. And the system had responded to me. And Prabhu was approachable. Uh, yes, that is how. Yeah, Prabhu I. I, I, saying, I mean, when you you said right. Uh, I my body condition is so weak. You know what is this all about the program? So when I told you that this program also involves you know doing workout, what was your thought during that time? Oh, I I, I still remember telling you, Prabhu. You know what? I have BP, huh? I get this chest pains. I cannot bend. I, I couldn't even stand on my toes. And um, heart attack nahi aa jayega. I don't want to end up in an injury. And uh, yes, that was... Uh, but you helped me, you know, navigate that phase. Uh, I could walk 5,000 steps and that was a sense of joy. In a month and a half, it was 20,000 steps and my husband and my sons were tired and bang God with a water bottle, sipping water, I could walk 20,000 in a go. That was the day I put my first FB post. And uh, yes, the best thing, you know, uh, in your feedback calls and everything, you, uh, you know, Prabhu would always insist. And so Nali, I hope you are taking your BP medicines. And I remember after a fortnight, I said, Priya Prabhu, char paaj din ho gaye, maine to BP ki goliya khai hi nahi hai. And he was like, no, no, you need to see a doctor. You are not going to stop your medicines. But, you know, something was changing so rapidly in the body. The body was responding and the reeling sensation disappeared and the sweating, the breathlessness disappeared. In a week, I my first week, swelling on my feet had come down. Imagine my footwear size is four. I was wearing seven to a point. I have not shopped for my footwear for last five years. I started wearing my son's and my husband's footwear, you know, and carrying it with a sense of style because, the uh, you know, men's feet are broad. Hai na. So I thought, karu? Har roz to mera footwear ka size bad raha hai. So that was the state I was in. I've not shopped for my clothes in five years. 
it was just a month ago i shopped for my clothes uh, and that was with a sense of understanding that are kapdo ki size to badhte hi jane wali hai kab main meri size kam karungi so yeah i never even took the uh, sugar medicines and uh, thanks to the pathologist he was god sent and it, these were the exactly the same principles which wq follows you know uh, whatever he had guided me so since i had walked his path and since i could relate whatever prabhu was telling me is exactly what my pathologist told me and the faith was established there yeah uh, you know he would uh, prabhu would always motivate me you know what in 3 months time you will be off this medicines your doctor will be surprised he was manifesting it for me and i thought are jaane do kahi mera motivation kam pad raha hai thodi hawa bhar raha hai mujhme taaki main ye journey complete karu and uh, yeah but i have been very sincere that i'm uh, yeah i'm very sincere because the results were coming in so what results is were... sonali maybe you know i mean while i will also uh, request my host to bring up your uh, testimony picture yeah. so, so... wow that's just amazing sonali super okay. proud of you actually good so what other changes that you did uh, sonali uh, after after this were you able to sustain this or uh, how is it uh, how are you feeling now sustainability you cannot doubt it you know i my first 3 months i had lost a good 11 kgs today i am at 69 another i think 5 6 kg i'm not good at at maths my maths mera upar wala kar deta hai main bas yahan se jeeti hu and yahi se aap se connect hua tha and today you know then i was a customer with you all so like it was like are kuch inko bolungi to ab ye kya bolega ye khareed lo wo kar lo and uh, you know as a customer we only look at the money we are putting in but since uh i could rationalize my doubts to the reality to the changes which i was seeing in and how patiently you have been holding me because i remember in my second month i uh, first month i was 5 kg is down second month for 3 weeks i was in a plateau but uh, i have brought up a child who is is a national level swimmer uh, he is medalist for continuous 3 years i knew the concept of a plateau with strong upbringing i never you know got back to you ki nahi ho raha hai and all that i i introspected i analyzed and you know but i stopped sending my pictures to you and i i uh, i strengthened my affirmations to see what what was that in my mind which was not letting it happen and that was you know i knew i could come to 81 I had never believed that eighty one के नीचे कभी मेरा weight आ सकता है. So I started countering that in my mind, and then Prabhu would call me. I would not take his calls. Finally, Joy said, "Sunali, you are on the right track. Don't worry. You send the pictures." And I said, "I am doing everything. I don't need to send the pictures. The weight is not moving at all." And she just like a magical wand, you know, she tweaked a certain thing, and you know. यहाँ पे एक बत्ती जल गई यार बॉडी गेट्स यूज टू थिंग्स सो अ सर्टन ट्वीकिंग हियर एंड देयर एंड देन द रिजल्ट्स अगेन स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन टू अ पॉइंट दैट आफ्टर दैट टिप ऑफ हर्स टू ब्रेक द प्लेटो I never got onto the weighing scale, so uh, it was just today I got onto the weighing scale because we had set a target that uh, after seventy. maybe you know uh, i can feature on this platform yesterday i was uh, i did have the news that i would be here and i was actually rehearsing what i was going to say here and uh, the only thing i told joyce i apologize yaar i couldn't go below 70 and today on the way scale i am at 69 so for me it's a divine intervention you to put that faith in me you restored that faith in humanity for me so now beyond a customer relationship you know i have never had a close confidant after my dad's death that is when i had depression so although you were younger to me i find my father in prabhu and i find the taskmaster dad of mine in joyce and i confide in them more than i confide in my mom now so Wonderful. for me mm-hmm. you know the testimonial numbers hardly matter for me to find people like this who can restore that faith and belief 
uh, you know that is god sent and thank you for that wonderful wonderful sonali we are so proud of you very very inspiring one final thought uh, sonali what would you like to suggest you know because there are a lot of people who have logged in many people are just about to start the program or in the program maybe one or two points what would be your uh, you know uh, suggestion to them for them also to be like you know be one of the wellness champions like you surrender to your coach you know the best part of wq is every single person here has undergone a transformation prabhu and joyce exactly knew my pitfalls they knew acha idhar gadda dikh raha hai yahan par zarur fislegi aur main fisalne se pehle unhone mujhe pakad liya tha and i have worked like a toddler holding the hands of my coach and one thing is you know share every minutest thing with your coach because that helps them you know uh, get speedy results for you uh, i don't think so i did anything for myself it, it's such a well charted program yaar usme dimag lagane ki zarurat hi nahi padti hum kahan dimag lagate baithte hain aur kya hisab kitab karte baithte hain ki ye maina itna kharch kiya wo maina itna kharch kiya get my metabolic age from 60 to a good 50 now 5 uh, 5 years down i will be you know i'll match my metabolic age to my body age what more do i want you know today i jumped with joy you know wo jo hai na udta hi firu in hawaon mein kai i could do 25 jumps and i was bouncing one and a half feet above the ground and i was seeing that in the mirror uh, uh, you know can, can you believe you know at my age being a mom aap log bol rahe she is a crazy woman but it's not that my expression of joy is in movement is in dancing it is in jumping and i got that from wq from the two of you wonderful, wonderful sanali we are super proud of you and we are super super proud of you and congratulations on your achievement we feel so much of pride in what you have worked through and achieved many congratulations once again you. thanks to all thanks to the entire community i want to uh, specially mention the workouts because you know i have explored myself i have not done anything beyond running behind my children ye tuition hai ye class hai idhar bhago udhar bhago to uh, to do squats to do lunges and uh, you know dhanyas dance workouts ya yeah, workout with harish where he says you know i am a celebrity trainer i have lived every sentence of every one there because my support system has been that and one more thing i would tell you know those who are on the program do not miss your friday sessions because that is an enormous support which holds you which roots you unto yourself so thank you thank you dr sonali so glad to have you here we appreciate your time and over to our host thank you